Hey everybody, I'm Premier Gal and I'm super excited to be here on the Licked YouTube channel. In this video, I'm showing you my top three favorite audio effects inside of Premiere Pro. It's gonna be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and jump on in. One of my favorite audio effects in Premiere Pro is the ability to make regular old sound sound like it's coming from an old technology. So in this case, we're going to make it sound like it's coming from an old radio and it's really easy to do. Now we're gonna do this to two different soundtracks. I have this one here, this audio track layer is just me talking and this is a music track from Licked. We're gonna make them both have an old radio sound and we're gonna make sure that the levels sound good because right now, as I play it back, you'll hear that the music is way too loud. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Premier Gal radio station. You can hear that the music is just way too loud and we need to boost up the audio of my voice as well. So let's go ahead and mute the music track right now just by hitting the M here and let's work on the dialogue track here. So just simply select it. You'll also notice I'm in the audio workspace. You wanna make sure to hit audio and you'll see the essential sound panel pop up on the right here. We're gonna start by just hitting dialogue. And there's actually a preset dropdown and one of the presets is a radio preset. So we don't even have to play around with any of these parameters. We can go here and just select from the radio. And you will see immediately the audio waveform boosts it up and that's because it automatically applies an auto match loudness from this preset. So if I turn this off, you'll see the audio waveform drops down, but if it's on, it's boosted up. So it makes it the correct loudness level. Another thing that it did is down here, it played around with the dynamics and it added an EQ old radio preset. So let's go ahead and play this to see how it sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Premier Gal radio station. Today, we're going to be showing you how to make sound sound like it's coming from an old radio. Now, the same thing we're going to do, but with the music track. So let's first unmute this track. Now, normally, if you wanted to edit music using the essential sound panel, you would select the music track. And of course, you would assign the right sound type. In this case, it would be music. But because we want to use the preset from dialogue, we're actually going to choose dialogue and do the exact same thing that we did from the preset, choose from the radio. Now you can see that the waveform also dropped because it auto matched it to the correct level. So now it's not gonna be as loud. Let's play it back. We may need to make some more volume adjustments, but let's go ahead and hit play. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Premier Gal radio station. Today, we're going to be showing you how to make sound sound like it's coming from an old radio. Now my second favorite audio effect is the pitch shifter. So you can change how high or low somebody's voice is and play around with presets for different comedic or scary effects or if you wanna mask somebody's identity. So the way that we do that is you can see here I have the same audio clip of me speaking before. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Premier Gal radio station. Now, if we wanted to pitch shift this up to make me sound like a chipmunk for a comedic effect, I can go over to the effects panel and just search for pitch and you'll find something called pitch shifter underneath audio effects. And you can drag and drop that onto this clip. Now, if we play it back, ladies and gentlemen, welcome nothing happened and that's because from effect controls you can see the pitch shifter here we actually have to do a custom edit so if you click on edit it'll pull up this clip effects editor and actually from the presets drop down there's an angry gerbil so this will actually turn me into a chipmunk automatically so you'll see that this is at zero the semitones here if we change this to angry gerbil it'll move it all the way up to 12 the maximum pitch shift so let's go ahead and go back to the beginning. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Premier Gal Radio Station. Today we're going to be showing you how to make sound sound like it's coming from an old radio. So that sounds awesome. It exactly sounds like the chipmunks and this is exactly what they use to create that effect. Now, if we wanted to mask my identity, if you didn't want to know that this was me talking, we could actually pitch shift it down. And in this case, we don't need to change anything from the preset. We can actually just move this dial the opposite direction here to around minus nine. And let's play it back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Premier Gal radio station. Today, we're going to be showing you how to make sound sound like it's coming from an old radio. So you can see that's also comedic in a sense. It's funny to hear it that way, but it also just allows you to mask the identity. And there's also another preset called the Dark Lord. And let's see how that sounds. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Commando Radio Station. Today we're going to be showing... So that sounds really creepy, and I think that could be used if you guys are creating some scary effects for your videos. You can play around with the Dark Lord and even shift the pitch a little bit so we can bring this up a little bit to see how it sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Premier Girl Radio Station. Play around with these presets, have fun, and now let's go to the last effect here. And my third favorite effect is the de-reverb effect, which allows you to remove echo. So you can hear that this audio track has a lot of echo. I actually just recorded this on my iPhone standing in the stairwell. Right now I'm standing in the staircase and it's so echoey. How are we going to remove the echo? So we're going to go over to effect and search for the de-reverb effect and drag and drop it onto this clip. And now we have the de-reverb effect on this clip from effect controls. So now what we're going to do is hit edit. So what I'm going to do is use the heavy reverb reduction because there's a lot of echo in this clip. And you'll see it automatically applies an 80% amount of the effect. So we'll play it back and you can hear what it sounds like. Right now I'm standing in the staircase and it's so echoey. How are we going to remove the echo? And one thing that's different about this versus the essential sound panel is that it automatically applies an auto gain. So it increases the volume as the effect is applied because without the auto gain, this is what happens. Without any gain, it sounds a lot lower. Right now I'm standing in the staircase and it's so echoey. How are we going to remove the echo? See how much quieter it is? And that's exactly what happened in the essential sound panel. We don't want it to sound quiet. We want the auto gain on. So let's go ahead and let's play it back and I'll turn the effect on and off just by clicking this little bypass button here. So let's go ahead and play. Right now I'm standing in the staircase and it's so echoey. How are we going to remove the echo? Now remember, this clip had a ton of echo, so I didn't expect it to be perfect, but it definitely improved the clip. So if you're just dealing with minor echoes, this de-reverb effect could really help you out. Thanks so much for watching. If these tips help you out, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in more tutorials, be sure to subscribe so you can get more useful tips for myself and other creators. And if you're interested in licensing music that was used in this tutorial or other commercial music, you can use the licked link below to license music for your video. So that's it for this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.